Shalom, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakai Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, bishops of Great Millstone, who do rule and teach well. Peace and blessings, salutations as always to the hopefully elect, Tabernacle of David, Haki Menachwath out there, keeping the faith and diligence of our Lord Yahweh Shai, lifting up the standard of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, wherever you may be in the earth. Until we are redeemed, all right? It's the brother Azariah back with a news report, man. And look, stuff can pop off at any moment. I mean, look, you got insiders talking about the banks are pretty much going to collapse any day now. Like, you can, listen, the times are so critical, right? You can wake up any given day and everything is just shut down. The grid is just out. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you wake up. Get yourself together in the morning and, and, and you, you know what I'm saying, you go outside and it's, and it's all hell breaking loose, man. This is the time that we're in. Wars are popping off, all right? You have sleeper cells in America ready to be activated. The WEF already told you that they're going to perform a complete grid outage, a, a, a grid blackout before the elections happen. Then all this stuff you got happening politically with, with you know, Kamala Harris and, and, and Trump and people's spirits is stirred up. There's a whole lot going on. There's so much going on. In fact, you can't even get it all. You can't even keep up with it all. So, listen, man, you know, this is a time of, of great urgency. All right. You need to prioritize getting yourself right with, with, with the Lord before all hell breaks loose. Because, listen, we're, you know, we're in those times where. Like I said, man, you know, things can pop off at any moment. All right. These things are going to come upon people like a thief in the night because a lot of people ain't watching, you know. And one thing about it, you know, because we're going to get into this video by Prepper Dog, you know, but the whole Prepper community, you know, everybody knows because, you know, they're they're tapped in with inside people and things of that nature. You know, you know, they're also getting reports, but everybody knows that it's only a matter of time. It's not a matter of if, but when the issue is going to hit the fan. And when it does, you see, when it does, that's when your fate is going to have to shine, man. Okay, because the thing about it is, you 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 know, you can talk a good game right now and, and, and you know, go through the motions. But listen, when the pressure is on, when when, when that fire is under your ass, man, that's, that's when you're going to know where you really stand. Okay? But listen, we telling you, we've been telling you, it's only a matter of time before stuff goes left. And, and we're really in that season. Okay, look, we are, you know, we're about to go into August, into the latter months of the year, into 2025. 2025, things is definitely going to be critical. All right, but going into this election season, look, you really going to have to prepare yourself for the worst case scenario. All right, you're going to have to work out. Well, you should be working out your own salvation because, listen, we, we might come into a scenario where we don't know what's going to happen. Like brothers are, are going to be in a position where you might be by yourself for a while. All right. You might not have communication with brothers. You know what I'm saying? Because these things are going to happen all of a sudden. You see. So we going we're going to get into this video by Prepper Dog. Watch a little bit of it. I got some other articles lined up as well. All about to break loose all hell is about to break loose very soon let's go hello everyone hope you're well on this monday afternoon it is july 29th and we're almost done with another month you guys are you getting the feeling that all you know what is about to break loose all hell is about to break loose on several levels and I'm not trying to be an alarmist. I'm just being real. And I'm just being honest. Because I kind of get that feeling. There's a lot going on, guys. There's a lot going on. And we're not even in August yet. And we know what's coming up. Also, and for that reason, we need to not hesitate, not stop or pause on our preparations. Okay. Okay. Also, the real reason why the forces of evil, I don't know how else to describe it, but. Presenting the New Era 940 A-frame snapback constructed by Culture Kings and New Era for the purpose. 
If you thought about why, why look at what's being flashed all across the media and out there on social media, media in general right now. Uh, everybody is obsessed with and just only seems like they're only talking about things like they're still talking about the assassination attempt on Trump, the Olympics, and what happened in the opening ceremonies, partisan politics, the royal family, other just useless stuff. And I'm saying, I'm not saying all that's useless, but, uh, it, it's stuff that's just, it seems like it's being regurgitated and thrown out there with just slight differences over the last several days. Notice what they're not talking about. Nobody's, seems like nobody's talking about the border, which is still virtually wide open. And as we are speaking, as we are talking right here, people are flowing across illegally. Lord knows who's coming across. These Babylonians are terrified. And that's one thing about that, that migrant surge that came over. All right. It's already well known that majority of who came over the border are military age men. All right. A lot. Of, many of them. What 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 they've called, um, you know, special interest aliens. Right. Uh, Iranian nationals, Syrian nationals. You see, Russian nationals, Chinese, they've all came over the border and they've been documented coming over. But you know what the American government did? They caught these special interest aliens and they released them back into the populace. So you know what you have in these cities, especially these major cities, right? You have sleeper cells. OK, you have agent provocateurs of chaos that is waiting to get busy. They waiting to get the order so they can put in work. And if you've watched the Purge movies, especially the most recent one they came out with, uh, Forever Purge, that, that's probably not the most recent one, but, you know, that's like, I think that was the last one. I'm not sure. But that was one of the most recent ones that they came out with, Forever Purge, man. And what you saw in Forever Purge was you saw just chaos in the streets, right? You saw uh, uh, militias going around. OK, you had a lot of, um, you know, South American, you know, in that movie, it was it was Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? So you had a lot of Mexicans, but but they was armed to the teeth and they was taking people out. You see, but it's not just the, the you know, South Americans coming up. All right. Which a lot of them are are Jake's, but but they have evil intentions. <laughs> you see, you like I said, you have U.N. troops in here. You have Gerga. All right. And guess what? The, they've been let in for a specific purpose. And that purpose is to cause chaos so that the government can be justified in taking complete control and implementing a new order in which people are going to be so fearful that they're going to willingly submit to the order that the elites are going to bring. All right. Klaus Schwab and the WEF, they've openly said this. This is what they want to do. All right. This is why Klaus said years ago, we must prepare for a more angrier world. Well, why? What you know, why would they make such a statement if they didn't know that such a thing was going to happen in the future? Well, it's because they, they're the ones that manufacture these things. You see, this is why all of this is, 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 is going on and people are slowly starting to put this together. But unfortunately for many people, by the time they really figure out how far that the rabbit hole goes, is it, it's already going to be too late, man. They're already going to be taken. You see? So, look. <laughs> what else can... Listen, what else can we say, man? What else can we say? I mean, look. Brothers go into it every single day. You see? The, the, these are indeed the end times, man. The, you know, these are the times that the prophets of old saw and they spoke about extensively. Okay? This is the time that Yahweh Shai warned us of. Let's go here to 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. Now, Paul said, you have no need that I write unto you. Why? Because you already know what time it is. You can see what's going on. Right? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, we're well, well aware and, and, you know, we're... You know, spiritual watchmen watching everything. OK, so we know what time it is. Right. For yourselves know perfectly that, that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So it's going to happen all of a sudden. Right. Just, uh, just how it speaks about the food being gone all of a sudden. Suddenly uh, the full storehouses shall be found empty. 
right? Suddenly, you're going to see mass deaths, right? Uh, uh, you know, suddenly, you're going to see mass confusion all around the earth. But especially here in Babylon the Great. Verse 3, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction. Sudden destruction, man. Th th this is what's about to occur. Sudden destruction is about to come to America in the whole of this earth, man. All right? And it's being brought on by the wicked, but... You know, even behind the wicked, it's really Yahweh Bashem See, this is the, the the overall understanding of what's going on. This is the vengeance of the Lord coming down. You see? And these things are for us to know that the end is near, man. This, this is what the men of the Lord are telling you, that the end is near. Repent, get yourself right. Time is short. The days are short. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Yeah, so the wicked are not going to escape. All right, because these things are being sent for the wicked to punish the wicked, man. The 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 uh, righteous elect, okay, they're going to be kept safe from these things, right? The Lord is going to make a way for the elect. But for the wicked, they all going to perish. All right, this is why majority of the earth population, they're going to be taken out in what's coming. Because not only do you have sleeper cells, you have diseases that these elites are, are, are you know, cooking up, Okay. You have also the judgments of the Lord that are going to come down, that are coming down. So-called natural disasters, right? Tornadoes, earthquakes, uh, tsunamis, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, great hail falling from the sky with, with great frequency. These things are going on all around the earth. Flooding, you see? Great heat, great cold. You see, uh, l listen, man. We are uh, entering a time <clears throat> that has never been seen before. And this is to manifest the end, right? But these things, see, uh, the wicked are not going to escape. But uh, Verse 4, but ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. See? So we're not in darkness. See, we're doing our due diligence, paying attention, watching always. Okay, even though we have stuff going on during the day, we always watching. You know what I'm saying? Whenever brothers got time, you know, uh, we always tapping into the news. We always tapping into, you know, articles and, and, and you know, seeing what's, what's going on at all times, man. Because this is a time you have to be very vigilant. Because you have to be watching. You see? Because, listen, like I said, man, stuff can go down at any given moment. Just be you know playing around all right the lord the lord is, is 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 about is um doing some great works in the earth man and things are coming to pass as it is written uh second ezra's chapter nine and uh verse two then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world. See, all these things are going on. All everywhere that you look, there's uproars. Okay, there's people protesting. There's 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 violence going on. All right. We gonna we're gonna get to it, but in Venezuela, they they turning the place up in, in, in Venezuela, uh, because they believe that the election there was rigged. All right, so listen, the same thing is going to come to America. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But as it says in, uh, yeah, uh, verse 4, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Let's continue. All right. So that all talk about that seems to have stopped. The also inflation that keeps ripping the faces off people, it still continues. It's still going up. It's not stopping. It's not going down as the powers that shouldn't be are trying to tell you. It's not true. Crime, violent crime still on the increase in new ways all the every day when you when you just you know you can turn on and just hear about all kinds of stuff going on nobody's talking much about that either the increasing debt people are taking on not just our government but individuals especially in the United States and everywhere really but uh, automobile repo repossessions are are through the roof higher than they've ever been consumer debt higher than it's ever been credit card debt 
People living paycheck to paycheck can't pay the rent, can't buy food, hitting the food banks. Food banks are struggling more than ever. <clears throat> Bankruptcies. So there's that. I have good news, so bear with me. This is about the time Mrs. Dog, if she was with me, would go, got any good news? You got any good news? I got good news. All right, so bear with me. I'll get there. I'll get there. One word about the Olympics, about, about why I, the, the forces of evil used this as a, this was the world stage thing. They couldn't pass this opportunity up, <clears throat> right? So the evil one is in everything, okay? And he will use every opportunity to do something like this. And the Olympic Committee used this opportunity to mock God, all right? They were poking fun at the, uh, and, and made a sham, tried to make a sham and poke fun at the Last Supper and Jesus. So, and mocking Jesus. Why? Why are they not picking on Islam, Judaism, or, uh, I don't know, Buddhism, you name the, name one of the others. They didn't do that, did they? Uh, Christianity seems like the big target everywhere. And, uh, and it will continue to be. Why is that? There's several reasons, but the biggest reason in my mind, in my mind, and I've heard this put out there. I think I heard this also said on a, on a, on a uh, interview. It was somebody, I think it was Sky News Australia, which is good, pretty good news. Actually, they, they, they do a pretty good job. Sky News Australia. Sometimes they're pretty comical, actually, but I digress. Uh, but uh, it was a commentator on there made a good point. She said that uh, the real reason is because that they're really hitting on Christianity is because it's the only one with Christ, Christ Jesus as your Savior. Well, let's just say this, right? They not they not going at any other you know, religion, they not going at Islam or Buddhism, like he say, because it ain't the truth. Okay. And there's really no, um, you know, spirit of power behind these other philosophies, man. It, see the powers that be know where the real power is at. See why, you know, why do you think they hire people like vocab Malone and they hire these so-called Christian apologists and these, you know, weirdos that come out of nowhere and want to come up against the Hebrew Israelites. All right. Or they want to come against the Bible. Why? Because they know that the words that are contained within the volume of the book, man. All right. From Genesis to Revelation is power. All right. That, that, that these are the inspired words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. This is why you have a spirit of of antichrist or anti hamashiach in the earth man and really anybody that don't believe in the bible is an anti hamashiach or anybody that, that uh, uh goes against or does not believe that uh yahweh shai is the son of yahweh is an anti hamashiach okay so all muslims are anti hamashiach okay and any other philosophy that's out here that, that denies that they're anti hamashiach and what you saw at the olympics that that was a blatant blasphemous display and mockery of the last supper okay mocking the lord openly man this also shows you that we're at the end of this world you see because these devils that 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 left hand energy man you know they're 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 upset okay because they understand that they about to lose their kingdom all right this is why you see these spirits are out here just 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 bugged out to the max you know what i'm saying people are just bugged out man and and you know they they actually hate the Most High and they're and they're openly now uh, uh, displaying their hate for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, this this is why scoffers now are at an all time high. You see, because they see that the words that we speak are, are actively coming to pass, and they hate it because people have dreams and aspirations in this world that they want to fulfill. But we came to re to rain on a sunny day, to rain on a parade. Okay. You have the nasty people, man. You know, they're getting more bold and, and, and just more out there. You know what I'm saying? Openly going for children now. All right? So everybody is standing in their lot in these last days. And guess what? At the end of the day, all these people are going to be destroyed, man. Like the Lord is going to put all these people to death. You see? And, and, and you know, it's actually going to be in the most brutal fashion. Okay, Th listen, this is why we're not going to shed no tears for two thirds, Jake, man. We're not going to shed no tears for these goddamn heathen because they got they're going to get what they deserve. Okay, the most high is going to give them according 
to what they have worked for and the wages of sin is death and these people have lived in 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 in, in a blissful ignorance and they've lived in sin and they've enjoyed themselves right so hey the most i gave you what you wanted since you wanted to live in sin and, and you know you wanted to be a rebellious demon cool but your reward is going to be death okay in 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 and, uh, uh for the heathen a thousand years of hardcore captivity after that you see so the Lord got everybody carpooled, man. It's only a matter of time before he going to get you. All right. But let's 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 go here. Because this happened as well. Again, Microsoft hit with another global outage. All right. And uh, you have insiders coming out saying that what's about to happen is this whole grid is about to be outed, man. Like this, this, this whole thing is, is about to be shut down. All right, like I said, you're going to wake up one morning and everything is shut down. It ain't going to be no social media. It ain't going to be no no uh, TV. It ain't going to be no Wi-Fi. It ain't going to be nothing. You see, and what's going to happen from that, man? People going to lose their goddamn mind. People going to just, just go crazy out here. Going to crash out. You see? So that one that happened uh, about a week and a half ago, that, that was a test run. See, Microsoft has been hit by a global outage less than two weeks since his systems were brought down by a bug riddle update that sparked chaos for millions. The disruption is impacting emails, Xbox Live, and 365 functions, all of which were knocked offline on July 19th. Report, reports about Tuesday's problem surfaced around 9.15 a.m. Microsoft Service Status website shows an alert for network infrastructure, which is critical for connectivity and communication between users, apps, devices, and the internet the previous outage was triggered after crowdstrike a salaki a, <clears throat> a cybersecurity software company but the current issue has not yet been linked to the firm so look they about to you know do away with all this man because one thing about it is too much information coming out on the internet and these devils don't have no control over it so now they just about to pull the plug all right so that you know this is what all of this is really about OK, because there's no reason as to why <clears throat> there's no reason as to why this happened not even two weeks ago. And it happened again in such a short amount of time. Then again, in Australia, you have the banks that are being attacked every minute of every hour on a daily basis, man. And, and you know, them, them banks out there about to be obsolete. They about to shut them banks down. You see, they're, they you know, out there as well. They're uh, uh, limiting um cash withdrawals really a lot of people can't even withdraw no cash like they, they just start up telling you no you can't withdraw no cash you see so they're about to usher in this this motb man you know first they're going to come with the digital id as a safety measure but as we just read in first Thessalonians five and three they, they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction so these devils are, are about to bring it man like this is the this is the hour of temptation this is jacob's trouble right in your face okay <clears throat> now, as I mentioned earlier, Venezuela is in a state of chaos. Venezuela spirals into chaos after disputed election result. It says here, security forces in Venezuela have fired tear gas and rubber bullets at people protesting Sunday's disputed election result. And this is what's about to happen come the election in November. If there is an election, okay? If there is an election, this is what it's going to be, man. All right? Because them Venezuelans, you know, they're upset that, uh, what's the name, um, Maduro, that he stayed in office, okay? So, just imagine how, you know, how much more in America if, if uh, you know, uh, Kamala gets in there, all right? We, we really, either way, you know, America's going down, but if Trump don't win, if Trump don't get in there, it's going to be chaos, man, guaranteed. Everybody knows that, see? Everybody knows that, and, and it, that's pretty much what they're calling for. You see, thousands of people descended on Central Caracas on Monday evening, some walking for miles from slums on the mountains surrounding the city towards the presidential palace. Protests erupted in the Venezuelan capital the day after President Nicolas Maduro claimed victory. So they tearing the place up, you know, taking down statues. Check it out. The opposition has disputed Mr. Maduro's declaration as fraudulent, saying that after reviewing 73.2% of the vo uh, voting tallies, it was clear that his candidate, Edmundo Gonzalez, had won convincingly. 
right? Uh, opposition parties had united behind Mr. Gonzalez in an attempt to unseat President Maduro after 11 years in power amid widespread discontent over the country's economic crisis. See, in, in uh, Venezuela, you know, they, they have the most rich, you know, they're, they're sitting on um, a very rich oil reserve in Venezuela and, and, and also an abundant supply of untapped gold. All right. So the reason why this guy Maduro stayed in office is because he's a WEF puppet. OK, he you know, he's a WEF puppet. He's he's working for the interests of uh, the the elites. OK, they're funding him. All right. And this government is destabilized because ultimately, if, if uh, you've been paying attention to Venezuela, that Venezuelan currency is pretty much dirt. You know, what I'm saying it's not worth nothing. You see, like they literally using that money out there to, to wipe they behind after they go to the bathroom. Like it's not worth anything, man. The, the 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 Venezuelan Bolivar is worthless. And you know what they about to do? They've been talking about bringing the digital ID to Venezuela as a, as a testing ground. You see? And what's going to come after that? The MOTB. So listen, man, this <laughs> the whole world is, is about to go through this transition, man. The whole earth is about to be on this digital grid system, man. This this is what Esau is about to bring, man. This is what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is about to bring. As a as an hour of trial, all right, for the faithful. You see, in in his judgment and condemnation to the wicked. So when you look at all of what's going on in the earth, as we read in Second Ezra nine, uh, uh, Second Ezra the ninth uh, ninth chapter. These are all the things that are manifesting the end, man. Okay, it's not, it's not a, it's not going to be very long before Yahweh Shai returns. Luke twenty one and uh, verse twenty five. It says, "And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth, distress of nations. These nations are distressed as hell. Okay, America's distressed. Europe is distressed. South America is distressed. China, the the you know far east." The, the so-called Middle East, especially extremely distressed with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring men's hearts, filling them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And think about it, too. We ain't really seen nothing yet. All right. We haven't seen nothing. But when that purge comes in its full. um, uh, uh What's the word when uh, that purge comes in its full strength? Oh, man, listen, look, a lot of people is not going to be able to handle it, man. A lot of people are going to off they self. A lot of people are going to just give up the ghosts. You know, people are going to have heart attacks. <clears throat> um, People, are, you know, really, people are just going to crash out. OK, you know, people are ready to do what they have to do to survive in this scenario. All right. You have a lot of Edomites that are uh, removing themselves from the major cities and going into the mountains. OK, going deep into the forest or all right where there's no civilization and they're uh you know setting themselves up to where you know they can be away from the chaos thinking that they're going to escape that judgment but see the lord's still going to get them okay because if you go deep out into the forest and, and you wicked as hell and you think okay well i ain't in the city no more so i'm good like we can just ride it out well guess what the most high is going to send wild beasts against your ass man all right the most high is going to send a damn grizzly bear to, to, to tear you to pieces out there in, in the uh, wilderness. So there's no escape, man. All right. Uh, uh, the scriptures speak about that. <clears throat> you know, the scriptures speak about uh, the wild beasts changing their places. Okay. The, 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 uh, you, you know, uh, the Most High has reserved the teeth of wild beasts for vengeance for the wicked. So there's nowhere that you can go, man. Whether you're deep inside the rocks like, like these um, elites, you know, they got uh, the bunker set up. And, and they think that they good, right? And then you got the preppers that, that are going deep out into the, you know, the sticks thinking that they're going to be safe. Nah, man, look, uh, wherever you at, the Most High got a judgment reserved for you. And ultimately, the Most High put his spirit on you to go out to these places so that you can be judged. All right, point blank, period. So no one is going to get away from the judgment of your Abash, man. Ultimately, these people's pride has deceived them to believe these things. See, but look, the, uh, the scriptures say, that men's hearts are going to fail them for fear. All right. Right now in Venezuela, man, people's hearts are failing them for fear overseeing what's going on. 
Right now in the so-called Middle East, which is Western Asia, people's hearts are failing them for fear because the wars there continue to escalate. Things is not dying down. Peace is off the table, man. You see? So there's nothing that's going to come but death, confusion, and just more chaos. This is all you have to look forward to. There, You see, the men of the Lord, we don't have a good report to give to you. All right? We don't have a, a, a good report concerning this world that, you, you know, good news. No, nah, it ain't no good news, man. All right. It's only doom and gloom. <laughs> OK, you know, it's, it, listen, that that's all it is. It's only doom and gloom to look forward to. All right. But the only bright, um, you know, glimmer of hope that is in this thing, man, is is the elect. All right. Is the faithful. Those that have faith in your house. You're going to be good. Okay, but everybody else, hey, you better stay away from these people. All right, you better stay away from these people. Like you, you know, you better you better watch these niggas, man. All right, because we're coming into a time where, you know, it's gonna be chaos out in the streets, and they'd already tell you in Second Edges fifteen that a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, that they're gonna be going house to house with the sword, and they're gonna be looking for what they can spoil. All right, so your closest homie that, that you have been cool with since the sandbox, he going to turn on your ass, man, when when, when uh, worse come to worse. Okay? These are the times that we're coming into, man, a time of great betrayal. The scriptures speak about that. Friends shall fight against one another like enemies. You see? <clears throat> then shall many betray one another. Listen, man, these are the days of vengeance. Okay, fear, fear the Lord. All right, let's close out on this here. Okay, because this is another thing that they ain't talking about. There was over a hundred earthquakes to happen in Texas, right? Over the past few days, man. And, and this is not making national news, but they want to talk about everything else. Which really, the things that they throw out there, the the Olympics, even though this shit is wicked, but it's really all distraction. It's bread and circus, man. It's all entertainment. Okay, the stuff that's going on with Kamala and Trump, like it, you know, that stuff really don't matter. It, you know, it does matter because it's leading to something. But in the in the pressing moment, there's many things that, that are not being reported that's going on. That's why we say that it's is is really, you know, we're in a very unprecedented time. There's so much going on, you can't even fathom it all. All right, but yeah, a hundred plus earthquakes happened out there in in, in Texas. You see what I'm saying? Over the past few days. And this is not national news. You know what I'm saying? Why are people not talking about this? Let's check this out. So, why is nobody talking about the little mini earthquake that happened in downtown Dallas two, three days ago? Fox 26 News posted that there was a 5.1 I think it was 5.1 magnitude earthquake in downtown Dallas all my Dallas people did y'all feel that or am I I mean no one's speaking about it so I'm a little confused somebody lying or is it true cause we ain't never in Texas had nothing nothing like that so I'm so what's going on y'all don't believe me alright let me show y'all what's this 5.1 earthquake fell in downtown Dallas and it says for the second day in a row, a second day in the row, rattled homes in West Texas. Many people in North Texas also felt this one. What in the hell is going on? I told y'all. I told y'all. 2024 is definitely... showing his ass oh yeah and check out the comments right somebody here said we have been having so many earthquakes in west texas we literally had 103 last week see i personally felt four or five because i'm only 30 minutes away from the epicenter wow see so people in the comments is chatting man okay 
And they're like, you, you know, this is crazy. See, look at this. We are living in, in a judgment day as of May 21st, 2011. And things will continue to get worse all the way up until 2033. You know, this, this person is, 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 bug, is a bug out, you know, more than likely a Christian. But, you know, even the Christians know that something ain't right, you know. Yeah, it's crazy. Look, the Lord, the Lord, <laughs> the Lord, the Lord is talking, man. All right, and, you know, the Lord is, is making things West happen. Texas, Texas, specifically, Texas, the county of Scurry continues to shake. Ken Molestino with an update today on the damage and also the concerns after nearly 100 quakes have been registered in that area since last week. In the past seven. And, and you know, you always got these channels, you know, talking about some Yahshua. Okay, there's no use in another Hebrew, man. All right, his name is Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai. Let's continue. Seven days residents of the town of Snyder and across Scurry County have had 91 earthquakes so far. The biggest, a 5.1 quake on Friday. A few of the smaller tremors registered on Monday. And that is from a 1.5 1, 1 and up on earthquakes. You know, some were small, some were the stronger ones. Jay Calloway is the emergency management coordinator for both Snyder and Scurry County, which are under a disaster declaration. The damage varies. Uh, everybody has a little bit of different damage. Uh, cracked ceilings, cracked walls, some uh, mortar bricks, uh, separation. Uh, there are a few foundation cracks. While officials respond to the situation, geophysicists like SMU's Dr. Brian Stump are already looking into the activity. What about this do you think is worth continuing to talk about and ask questions? The first is, uh, can we understand if they are triggered earthquakes, how we've triggered them and so change practices so we don't? The second main point for experts is to plan for what might come next. To reduce the hazard and the risk in the future to future earthquakes. Doctor. And that's the vain hope of these Edomites, because there's nothing that you can do to stop the judgment of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. Yahweh Shah told us in Matthew the 24th chapter that earthquakes in diverse places will be one of the things that you will see in the last days to let you know that he's on his way back. So you can't mitigate these things. You can't stop it. These things must be. This is a fulfillment of biblical prophecy. Let's close out on this here. And Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. Um... This is Second Ezra, the 16th chapter, in verse uh, Salakia 36. Behold, the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spake. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringeth forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth, they slack not a moment. See, so these are plagues and punishments that the Lord is bringing upon the earth. Right, as a recompense for these people's wickedness. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth and the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. So these plagues are coming as a woman in labor. OK, because really the earth is is uh, alive, man. You know, in, in uh, you know, um, this is basically the earth, you know, protesting against all the wickedness that's being done. OK. All these earthquakes, all, you know, all these wild storms, you know, um, all, you know, all this flooding going on, you know, uh, uh, tsunamis, hail storms and tornadoes, man. You, you know, this, this, this is the earth rising up against the wicked. Really, it's Yahweh Bashem Yahushai bringing that judgment. You see, but these things are happening as a woman in, in a labor. And, and, you know, the closer that we get towards that child being delivered, the more these things are increasing. This is what you're seeing happen in the earth. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn. Going going to uh, Second Ezra 8 and 50. Many great miseries shall be followers that dwell in the latter time, because they have, uh, you know, lived in great pride. Right? So these people are being humbled by these plagues. They're losing everything. They, they losing their minds. They're losing their, um, you know, jobs. You know, losing their peace of mind. Everything is being taken away. Okay? In the world shall mourn and sorrow shall come upon it on every side oh oh my people hear my word make you ready to thy battle and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth yeah so you know 
We about to leave all this stuff behind. You know, we're not worried about Babylon the Great. We understand it ain't no healing this place. It ain't no saving it. Ain't no bringing it back. Like, we're at the very end of this kingdom. You see? So, the Lord is, is, is going to continue to up the judgment. Like, the Lord is going to continue to increase the calamities. And the more that the Lord continues to increase these calamities, the more that you're going to see these people just be in a, in a sorrowful and pitiful state, man. Like I said, a lot of people are going to want to off themselves. In his time because things are going to be so bad all right so i'm gonna go ahead and close out here lord willing this lesson was edifying through the rakai kadash call law yahweh by hashem yahweh shah by hashem racha kadash double honors to the apostles and those of great millstone peace and blessings to the hopefully elect and a baba ball on to the next one